Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso a Podcast, where we rarely drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. I am Alice Arsenic, the co-host Josh, and tonight we are talking about Ice Nine Kills again, and I'm very, very excited about this because I don't know what this video is about. Um, I'm stoked for this one. I, uh, I saw it come up in my subscription box. Um, and I saw what it was about and I was just really excited that they're touching on this one. So I have a theory of what I think it'll be and it's okay. because of the umbrella. And so I have an idea. I'm not going to say I think it is. Yeah. Um, but I think it's Resident Evil. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that kind of gives it away, right? Yes. Um, Yeah. Oh, well, are we? Is it the game? No, I'm guessing the movie it's movies. Was first. No, the no, game was first. games were games were first. Um, I'm guessing they're going off of the movie just because everything else has been movie based. Um, okay, especially like 2002 movies that were books. They go off of the movie, not off the book. Yeah, unless you go back to the other s album that they had. Yeah, um, that was off of books. So yeah, so Resident Evil 2002. Very excited. And, and let's just dive right in. All right, let's, let's go. Let's just go. Yeah, see the umbrella. We're 48 seconds in, and the the energy of the song itself is like almost peppy. Yeah, it's like workout mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you're being attacked by a zombie, but it's like. Yeah. I was also going to say, um, so the last video I commented how um, Ice Nine Kills is kind of a breath of fresh air amongst like the modern day metalcore scene that all kind of has the same sort of generic sound. Um, and then this has a very modern day metalcore sound to it. Um, but which... it, it's still not even that to me. I don't know. The, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just yeah. keep going. Okay. Keep going. Easy. I'm going to pause it again. Um, 
No, so it's interesting though because they are like they've made several mef- references to like video games, mm-hmm. different things as well, um, which I think is nice because like that's what the movies were based on for, mm-hmm. for the video games. Um, however, I still feel like it's more based off of the movies, but but the movies were done in such a video game style. That's true too. It would be hard to recreate something inspired by the film and not have it resemble a video true. game. Because the movies resemble a video game. This is definitely, though, I'll say, like, this is definitely, like, their radio single type song. Um, Absolutely. 100%. It's giving me, like, it's giving me, like, uh, like, music festival vibes. Like. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, peppy. No, it is. It is. um, It's it's definitely, yeah. Very, like, very, um, uh. Now this has nothing to do with the band. I'm just saying it gives the same energy as like a good Charlotte song. Okay. Where it's like upbeat and almost happy, and then you yeah. like you read the lyrics well, and you're like, oh, depressing. Yeah, no, it's it's checking all the boxes yeah. for like the what what is hot right now yeah. for metalcore. What gets a lot of plays right now. So sort of like the architects core, sort of like the yeah, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Um, it's they're checking off all the boxes for it, which I think is a smart move. Um, once again, I like it because it's themed after horror movies and games mm-hmm. and stuff. So, anyways. Are you listening to the hours until he's back on the street and all we got's another fucking videotape the fiance dies in this tape too doesn't she the link in the description oh my gosh it's interactive oh christ 18 hours until he's back on the street and all we got's another fucking videotape the fiance dies in this tape too, doesn't she? Well, yeah, by a pack of rabid fucking zombies, but not by him. But by I him. I guess that's why they called it a viral video. Captain, didn't the coroner say they found bite marks on the body? Yeah, well, we're still waiting to see if it was his teeth. Look, we need some kind of dirt on this guy. We need to talk to his mother, his father, his priest, his... Dental uh, bite marks are no longer admissible. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yes. But this is back when VHSs were a thing. So. So it was. It was. It was admissible evidence. And now I think, I think you can you can submit it as evidence, but it um, it doesn't necessarily, like you. Why? You can't, like why? Why is it not? Do you so, know? So similar to fingerprinting. So mm-hmm. everyone is like, oh, your fingerprints are unique. It is an infallible right. data collector. That is false. It is very fallible. It is very easy to fake fingerprints, to alter fingerprints, all of these kinds of things. I had no idea. Um, well, even just down to the fact of like melting your own fingerprints off. Mm. Like, okay, yeah, you could damage them and yeah, and, yeah gotcha. Um, but also, we haven't actually fingerprinted all 7 billion people on this planet. True. So we yeah. can't irrefutably say fingerprints are unique. Right. Right. Um, teeth are a very similar thing. There was a, case and i'm not going to remember anyone's name but there was a case where a man was like charged for murder based off bite marks um and later on he was released because they were like this is not um it does it it doesn't prove that he did it right like yeah the bite like his because his teeth were like super gnarly and they were like oh it's such a unique bite like no one else could have right this 
But if I remember correctly, that's not the case. And like there were other people with similar very similar bite, bite marks. Bite marks. That's interesting. Like they so would now leave a similar impression. Now there's so, a precedent for that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Anyway. Fun I, facts. I like the dad joke in this one too. So the viral video joke. Mm -hmm. Which also, okay, I think that it's smart that they, they're they like radio play mm -hmm. one. The one that's probably going to go more viral mm -hmm. um, is cut up into two parts. So you don't have like the long drama scene at the mm -hmm. end of it too. That, that was well played. Make your money. Mm-hmm. Fucking little league coach. We need some dirt. Captain, his lawyer's here. Oh, Christ. And I got to talk to these assholes, and all I got is my dick in my hand. We got the mask, we got the tapes. Some pretty sick shit there, Spencer. Almost as good as a confession, if you ask me. Yeah, well, nobody's asking you. Now, my client here has been nothing but cooperative. So if you intend on charging him, I suggest that you get your dick out of your hand mm -hmm. and do so. Because until if then... If he's so cooperative, why not just give me a confession? Oh, I bet you'd love that, wouldn't you? The only confession that my client here is going to be giving is to his priest. And that happens every Sunday. Aren't they a Jewish metal band? You look like you could use some confession yourself. I'm on your side, Captain. I loved her. I want to catch the real killer as much as you do. See? More cooperation from my client. Have you ever just given this one thought that, that, that this might be a, a, a deranged fan? I mean, shit, they have got hordes of them. For Christ's sake, they, they call themselves the psychos. Did, did, is that something you came up with? Is that like a PR thing or did, wow. Well, you really? must be very, very proud of that, Spencer. No fan of ours would ever do this. Yeah, you know what? You're right. No fan of his would ever do that. <laughs> but perhaps maybe a disgruntled nice. ex-band member, he's had to fire quite a few. Oh, you mean like a like a drummer? Didn't the didn't the bassist didn't they let go of the bassist? Currently, Spencer is the only remaining founding member. Okay, okay, yeah. So I think that's right then, um, because they. Uh, I remember a, a news article coming up sometime last year after we we did all of our Ice Night Kills reactions and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe it was early this year. I don't know, but. Anyway, saying that the the bassist who does like the deeper growls or did the deeper growls, but he they also attributed a lot of like the songwriting. Oh, Justin. To. Yeah. 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 Yes. So he's no longer Correct. in the band, right? Yeah, from um, 2019. So I was super concerned that it was going to change their sound a ton. Um, uh, I think they're still doing pretty good. Um, band member, he's had to fire quite a few. Oh, you mean like a like a drummer, like uh, the geezer butler did it? Like like a guitar player or a fucking flute player? What does that matter? Mm -hmm. Can we stick to what we're doing here? Answer me this. If you're so fucking lily white, how come you were covered with your girlfriend's blood? Don't answer that, Spencer. Okay, so the killer is wearing your mask. What is it called? The silence or whatever you call it? How do you explain that? They sell that mask at every five and dime in the country. Are you kidding me? What, you live under a fucking rock or something? It's on a giant billboard on Sunset Boulevard, for Christ's sake. This is a classic copycat. And you know what else? We're done here, okay? You got 18 hours, Captain, and the clock is ticking. Tick tock. So make your case or fucking move on. Is that an Spencer? illusion for the next one? Ooh, what a, thank you for your cooperation. The Blade Impressions are coming back and I'll get my liquor tickets. They're yours. Excuse me, you want to let go of my client? Good luck with those impressions. Really? Are the cuffs necessary? Oh yeah, and make it fucking tight. You're such a prick. All right, Spencer, I'll have you out of here quickly, trust me. These just came in, Captain. Are these the bite impressions? All right. Yes! <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. It's 
So any thoughts as to what the, the next one would be? No. No, no I have no idea. I don't know. It's probably super obvious, and I just can't it's even think of it. Obvious. Um, That's me. Rainy Day by Ice Nine Kills. Crawl through the holes in the evidence where evil has taken up residence. No faith in what red and white will say. They save the truth for a rainy day. Fall through the cracks with the casualties where freedom's thrown out with morality. Become a soldier for the controller or, batter, or battle till you beat the game. Are you listening to the whispering? Is it sinking in because it's sickening? Will you take the bait while you suffocate because you know something is creeping in the dark? Run. A call to survivors has just come through. Resist the zombies they'll make of you. Call out the life. Blow the storm away. Don't save the truth for a rainy day. Are you listening to the whispering? Is it sinking in because it's sickening? Will you take the bait while you suffocate because you know something is creeping in the dark? In the dark. Something is creeping in the dark. There is no next level. All access denied. Ignorance is past tense. Game over. You died. Oh, become a soldier for the controller or, or battle till you beat the game. Are you listening to the whispering? Is it sinking in because it's sickening? Will you take the bait while you suffocate because you know something is creeping in the dark? Are you listening to the whispering? Is it sinking in because it's sickening? Will you take the bait while you suffocate because you know something is creeping in the dark? In the dark, something is creeping in the dark. In the dark, run. Don't save the truth for a rainy day. I agree. This is the radio song. Yeah, this is the radio song. Yeah. Um the so like the music itself gave me almost um not quite EDM, but like close. Yeah. When I when I say that it was like peppy sounding music, it just yeah. it was a lot bouncier to me yeah. than typical metalcore. Well, that's but then the video is like zombies. Well, that's like all of like basically this year and last year's like metalcore, like everything that's like hitting the charts, mm-hmm. everything that like everybody's so excited about is 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 this. Um, that's and, like, so interesting. I don't know. Sounds good, but it's like it's just it's it's kind of the same. Um, it's, yeah, it's a good like workout mix, I guess. But I I don't know. I want something heavier. It has and I want kind something... of dance club vibes right i want something that sounds pissed off like that's more of my style of metal um well maybe we should be talking about lorna shore then oh my god yeah we should talk about Lorna. i have not listened Uh, to the full song you saw the clip on twitter which i mean clip on twitter yeah we should react to that um maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll be up soon yeah stay on the lookout for that what do you guys think so far of this album? What do you think of these releases so far? So I definitely like Hip to be scared the best so far okay. out of all three of them. Um, I'm still curious to see how they're going to piece together the storyline, how they're going to connect all of mm-hmm. them. I'm very interested to see I where feel that like, goes. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a jump um, or a, a guess, and I feel like at the end... A, hi- a hypothesis? Yeah, a hypothesis. Um, if you will. Yeah, so I'm going to make a hypothesis, and I feel like I don't know what movie it's going to end with, but I feel like it's going to be sort of like a fight club sort of thing. Like, he doesn't realize that he's actually doing the killings. Wasn't that kind of the illusion in the first series of movies? That's why he was seeing the therapist. Movies, whatever. Oh, music videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because he was like, I, I don't, don't know remember. What's... Yeah. So okay. is it is it going to just keep going with that? I don't know. Cause is it is the there... same? Is it is it a continuation? It is a continuation. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a I continuation. don't remember where it ended off, if I'm being completely okay. honest. Yeah, no, it's a continuation for sure. Um, I, it ends with it ends, but yeah. I don't remember it yeah. at all. <laughs> well, because remember the therapist like gets obsessed with him and everything? But doesn't he kill? The, he kills the therapist. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 But like, I don't remember what happens after that. I don't think anything happened. I think it ended. And then we started now where he's in jail oh my gosh that makes so much sense and then but now now they're they're mad about him killing his wife his See, fiance. i just need to know where the the connection is okay i think we missed something somewhere i i absolutely have so anyways comment section below let us know us. what we missed because it's something i feel kind of major